<laughs> okay, example seven. Um, uh, yeah. Time and again, same thing. Uh, uh, X has a mean 25, standard deviation of 4.5. Again, you cannot say it's normal. Uh. Nowhere is it said that X is normal. They only give you mean and variance. All right? Yes? Five, a, a sample of 500. What wow, so many? Uh. 500 is made. So X bar. So now X bar greater than A. So X bar, what is the distribution of X bar? First, X bar is just X1 plus X2 plus X3 all the way to X500 divided by 500. Five hundred is quite big, uh. Definitely large enough to use central limit theorem. Okay, definitely large enough to use central limit theorem. X follows by central limit theorem. X follows a normal distribution. We mean same mean. What is the variance? Must be four point five square over five hundred. Now you know mean, you know variance. Actually, the only unknown is A. Do you need to standardize? No need to standardize all. As long as you see, uh, as long as you know these two guys, and you, you get something like that, you don't need to standardize. But the only thing you need to do is to convert to lower tail. Because it's greater than sign, this is the upper tail probably. So the only thing you need to do is to convert it to lower tail, which is quite easy, more of us can do. Then you inverse norm 0 0.25 with this mean, with this variance, I think you can get the answer quite fast. Correct? And I hope this is not quite easy. Example 8. Okay, example 8. Um, let's read the problem again. Okay? A bag contains. Uh, draw the problem. A bit bored already. Read so many examples, but let's make our life a bit more interesting. This is a bag. Then we have three green balls. Then we have seven white. White cannot write draw. I cannot use white ink. Ah. Then we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. 10 balls are drawn at random. Okay? One at a time with replacement. That means you take one. Then put back. Okay, okay, okay enough. Because I'm quite bored la, saying the same thing again. This morning, just repeat the same example. But actually, I tell you, being a teacher is not so what? I cannot just say the same thing uh, again and again. If I have three classes, I'll say three different things. No. Not uh, totally different, nah, but you must cater to your, to your audience. Really, really, really. Quite interesting. Go the future of our nation. Join the teaching profession. <laughs> really, really, really fun. Really, really, really. So those are considering. Uh, and actually, I don't know what I told you. I've taught here from seven years. Seven years. This is my seven years. None of my None of my students actually aspire to be a math teacher and actually become a math math teacher. Some of them say they want to be ten teacher la, econ la, no, physics. Why not no? <laughs> Why? I think one big advantage. You know, in science teacher actually, I was just saying stupid. I don't know. Got spa. They got spa. Why not? Practical is look. We got to deal with stuff. We go lab. Man, no need. No lab. This is not ABC, uh, <laughs> So, math teacher is the best. And I tell you what is the biggest advantage of being a math teacher. Marking, we are always the first to compare. Compared to a GP, Econs, that's not I say. Right, so consider, consider. <laughs> it recorded. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Send to Minister Hing, okay? Then I get double promotion. 
Okay, anyways. <laughs> Why did I talk about this? <laughs> never mind, never mind. Uh, what did I say? Uh? Oh, okay. X is the number of green balls drawn after uh, for out of 10 trials. Correct? You draw 10 times, right? First time, and then pull back. Okay. This is a classic binomial distribution. Do you follow? Okay? 10 repeated trials. Each trial, there is a probability of success, and the success probability of success is a constant. Follow? Because the probability of drawing a green ball is always 0 0.3. Correct? Number of trials is 10. This is a classic binomial distribution. Okay? Classic binomial distribution. So we state the distribution. Stated. Um, exam skill again. Uh, if they ask you to state the distribution of x, you don't just say, I don't know, x is binomial. Cannot. Or you must really give a uh, uh, and you are to write down the expected value of x and variance of x. So we write down properly 3 and 2. Uh, this one you just see MN15, I don't want to go through. Okay? okay? Now, the experiment is carried out 50 times. One experiment consists of picking 10 balls. So you do 50 times. Okay? So let's be very clear. Huh? This end, this 50 times referring to one experiment consists of drawing the balls 10 times. So we do 50 times 10, basically. Okay? So by central limit theorem, this central limit theorem, you use central limit theorem because of this 50 is large enough. Not because of this 10. When you use central limit theorem, you see that you carry your experiment 50 times here. Not because of this 10. This 10 has nothing to do with central limit theorem. You follow what I'm saying? Oh, be very careful, okay? So, x bar follow a normal distribution by central limit theorem with the same mean, which is 3. Variance is 2.1 divided by 50, approximately. Now, uh, then, many of us are afraid of this word within. Find the probability that the mean is within 0 0.5 from the mean of x. Actually, it's not that scary, is it? Remember the, the, the CT2 question? Within 0.5% of beta. Recall or don't recall? Recall, huh? So, what's so difficult? If I tell you my height is within 1 cm of Michael Jordan, which is 198 cm, then what should, what is, should I be from 197 to 199? Correct or not? So it must be a range. Correct? What, uh, okay, so I think you all know my answer. So what we need to say is now we want probability, correct? Now you want x bar, correct? Must have a two-sided inequality, ma. Correct? You remember my height with the one cm is one seven one nine seven to one nine nine. That means I can be shorter than Michael Jordan, but only one cm. I can be taller. I hope lah. I hope lah. Actually, the one so tall so not very good lah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, why? 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 No, I'm just joking only. <laughs> X bar is within. That means the expected value of x minus 0 0.5 and the expected value of x plus 0 0.5. Correct? Yeah, within 0 0.5 of 
mean of x within super family of x. Just means this we have a lower bound in upper bound. Correct? Minus you combine plus. So, therefore, it must be equal to probability. Expected value of x is given, which is 3 minus 0 0.5 bar 3 plus 0 0.5. Hey, you get this, ah? Then you keep your GC, ah? Anyway. So don't be scared, okay? See the word within, we must know how to, how to interpret. Okay? Example 9. Okay. We are back to this problem, uh, the cylindrical rod. Uh, this time, they tell you the distribution is normal with mean and standard deviation. Be very careful, they give you standard deviation. You can safely say radius follow a rate. Two of the rods are selected at random. You want to find the sum of the two ray time. Is it 2R or is it R1 plus R2? Uh, you say, ah, R plus R2, ah. Prelim, don't give me this out. 2R, okay? R1 plus R2. So what we want is let S be equal to R1 plus R2. This is not 2R. Notation very important. Yes, mix. A very big difference. Later, cat one you can see in part two. Then, do we make use of central limit theorem here? Thirty seconds. Talk to your friend. Do we make use of central limit theorem here? Which job in the world can you do such a thing? When you are thirsty, you just tell the student, talk, 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 and I drink some water. <laughs> I'm good, right? Actually, I'm thirsty, not because I want you all to talk. <laughs> okay? Anyway, uh, so can, oh, wait, wait, sorry, my question was, um, do we make use of central limit theorem? Yes or no? No. Firstly, R is already normally distributed. R plus R2 will definitely be normally distributed regardless. Second, there are only two. N is to R1 plus R2. N is not large enough. You can't use central limit theorem. Follow? Okay? Also, since R is normally distributed, R1 plus R2 must be normally distributed without central limit theorem. Okay. All right, this is the distribution of S. You want probability S, which is sum of two radii. Therefore, you just key your GC, we can answer. Okay, part two. Find the probability that the diameter of a randomly chosen rod. This time, we must be very clear. Diameter D, is it R1 plus R2 or is it 2R? 2R, very good. So that's what we want to tell you. D is 2R, then expected value of is this, variance is this. I have quite easy. Once you have, can recognize this 2R, I just want to emphasize that, look, this is 4. This is 2 squared. Mm -hmm. 
actually this example is just trying to tell you that you look, this is the probability, the sum of two different radius, probability of two times of radius, actually the answer are different. You will expect the answer to be different because the distributions are not the same. They just they are definitely have different variants. Okay? They have different variants. The difference lies here because this is your one. Two square variants are that is two variants are. Okay? Okay. I thought a lot. I need to see now.